welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. So I found this secondhand manhole ring and cover. So these are going to go in the floor of the bar and go down to a secret lower level. I actually have some other manhole covers and rings that I found in dumpsters, but uh, they're a little too big for me. They're just, they're full size, they're heavy. I don't really want to deal with opening those on a regular basis. So this little guy is just perfect. And it's even got this uh, convenient handle in the middle, or it would, it's got the holes for the handle. Found this rusty U-bolt, and I think it is perfect. All right, here we are back in the sandbar, and we're getting set to install this manhole right here in the floor in front of me. Now this square is going to be filled with cement. Our manhole collar is going to sit right in the middle here. The cement is going to flow underneath it and support it because it's got this little overhang lip. We're also going to throw some of this rebar and scrap metal down in the square to reinforce it. And then once the cement hardens, this square will be our manhole floor. The manhole itself is going to be hollow in the middle here. We'll put the lid on top. And then once all that cement sets up, we're gonna start tunneling down through the manhole collar because it's just sandstone underneath. And we can spread it out a little bit because this hole is not gonna fit somebody my size. So I'll fit through it, but then once I'm down there, I'm gonna to have to bend my knees. I'm gonna to have to actually climb a ladder. So we'll have to bell out the shaft a little bit. And so this floor will let us do that. It'll let us kind of expand the shaft once we're underneath the collar here. It's about 10 o'clock at night right now, so I'm probably gonna take a break. We're gonna come back tomorrow and lay the cement down. All right, we've tied in all of our rebar and scrap metal. So the rebar goes into holes in the wall a couple feet, and then our scrap metal kind of makes a mesh here. Very loose mesh. Um, we're not going to be driving over this, we're just going to be walking on it, so it doesn't have to support, like, a ton. Okay, so our manhole collar is in place. Our rebar is down, our cement is in place. I had to do a couple runs. I had to run out and grab another bag of cement before this set off because I did not have enough. But fortunately, we got it all finished before everything had started setting. It is starting to set now. It's not 100% level, it's not 100% pretty, but I don't really care. I think this is gonna be great. Um, we're gonna come back next week, see if this is hardened. Because of the high humidity down here, I don't know how long it's taking for this to harden. Like, a lot of mortars and cements take more time uh, in high humidity. Fortunately, they also become stronger in high humidity. I did end up leaving a little bit of a lip here on my sandstone. We're going to throw sand over this once it's done to kind of level it out. And this will also be eroding over time as we drive over it with the wagon. So I wanted this little lip here just so we weren't driving up onto the cement. We're going to end up driving down onto a little bit. That's fine. All right, here we are on trip number two of the Sandbar Manhole Project. Uh, it's November now, everything's kind of covered in a light layer of ice, so uh, the uh, hill and road here are just extra dangerous today. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back underground and work on our manhole some more.
I'll do another quick little tour around the outside here, show some of the progress with the new Adit. That's coming along nicely. So again, we've got Adit number one, the original tunnel entrance, number two, the hall tunnel, and now our new Adit number three down there. And it looks like since I've been out here last, the new tunnel looks like a tunnel. It actually goes back about 10 feet right now. And then uh, we've got a nice pile of sand there. And we're still aiming to connect up to our other tunnels inside the hill. Let's go see how our project's doing. All right, I have it kind of cordoned off so nobody walks in there. And there's our floor. Yeah, that seems pretty solid. All right, well that looks like a floor manhole to me. Now today's goal, since this currently doesn't go anywhere, it's just floor underneath here. And then once we get down deep enough, we'll start a tunnel off to who knows where. Might not get to the tunnel part today. Might not even get the shaft all the way done today but we'll see how far we can go. Another quick project for today is to put up some LED lights. So I'm gonna put this light strip along the ceiling. That way we don't have to rely on these little rechargeable hand lights that honestly don't do a great job of lighting up the area and they're terrible for filming. So we're gonna to try to do some overhead lights. I uh, got these from Axeman for $24. They claim they're waterproof and the little circuit boards in there look pretty exposed. So we'll see how well they actually do over time. This end works. That end, eh, it looks like we're missing the blue from the end of that string. We've got red, we've got green, we've got no blue, so we've got white and yellow. It's good enough to film by, and uh, we'll just replace these later on. All right, let's start drilling down. Alright, I'm actually making good progress, especially with this wide sharp chisel. This one seems to be doing the best. However, it's also a bit of a menace. It's wide, it's sharp, and it catches on things like its own power cable. So, this is the second time I've cut through my own power cable with these chisels. These cables just, especially going down, they loop, they drag, they get underneath things, and Slipped right underneath the blade, chopped it in half. So we're gonna have to take this home and patch it up. Fortunately, we have other chisels down here, so we'll swap the bit out into another tool and keep going. We're about two feet down, and we've actually hit a harder layer of sandstone down there. It's almost like limestone. It's just a really tough layer. It's uh, The chisels are bouncing off of it, they're sparking. So that's going to be a little bit of a beast to get through. So we've finally gotten through that blasted hard layer. We're still not as deep as I wanted. I think we're going to wrap up for the day. We've been here all day, mostly trying to get through that tough layer. Yeah, uh, do some transition magic to next week. All right, we're back. It's another day. Time to make this hole even deeper. Drilling straight down is kind of a hassle because you have to lift everything out scoop by scoop. And then it's also really hard on the equipment because just like last time, the power cord gets looped down into the hole and I chisel right through it. In fact, this is one I've already repaired from chiseling through it and I've just done it again. So this manhole is being really hard on my chisels. This seems like a good time for a lunch break. You can't have a sandwich without sand.
right, it's been a couple days and we are finally getting somewhere with this manhole. Um, I can't quite stand up in it, but I can crouch down in here and basically disappear. And now that we have a manhole in the bar, we can do all kinds of weird cinematic stuff like this. So now that there is sand in absolutely every crevice of my camera, we are totally ready to film an unauthorized Chud sequel. How deep did I actually get this thing over two days? Is it deep enough to need a ladder yet? Eh, almost. So the video title says this is a secret manhole, but it's pretty obvious that there's a manhole here. How is it a secret? Well, if we just kick some sand over it. Secret manhole! Okay, so I think our sandbar floor manhole is pretty successful. It's not quite as deep as I wanted to get it, but that's about as deep as I can go without destroying any more chisels, and I can actually get in there and close the lid on myself, so I'm gonna call that a success for now. Eventually, we're gonna get that deeper. We're gonna start branching that off to the sides. We might tunnel over and connect it to something else, but I think we're gonna need some different tools for that that are a little easier to dig straight down. What we have right now works kind of okay, but not very efficient for going down. It's better at going straight ahead into the walls. As I've said in other videos, we are gonna keep expanding the sandbar out in various directions, including down. And so stay tuned for those. You'll have to go ahead and like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future sandbar videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.